This is the future. Well, hi guys and welcome back to my channel and um, I really don't have any any ideas of what I'm gonna do with this channel further because all my projects are done there's nothing that was happening this week that I needed to do so I actually saw some special effects and stuff that I can do with my editing program and I'm I'm using Fulmora and um, I'm very interested to see if I can get it right. So here is my attempt at a telekinesis teleportation effect. Enjoy. Want to know how this was done? I struggled for almost two days just to get this little clip the way it is now and it's still not perfect. But let me show you how it was done. The first time when I tried this and I thought, oh, this is so perfect. Never thought about having a reflective area in the back. The glass or the mirror in the clock reflected the bloody stand and everything. So in future, if you want to try and do this, Please try and not have a reflective area. And this is why it's so important to have a studio. Then I thought, okay, let's go do it in the garage in front of a green screen. And let me show you what disaster that was. And this is where we come with problem number two. Never have anything in your screen that's yellow because the green screen doesn't work with that as well. So then I tried it one more time and I did it in the living room, never considering the sunlight at the back. Look at the difference in color between the first shots and then when I started bending the can and how the sun made a mess. And it also doesn't help if your reflection is reflecting in the freaking curtains. So uh, yeah, luckily the masking technique worked. Let me quickly show you guys how I did the effects. Number one, import all the video clips that you need to make the video. I proceeded by putting the first video onto the timeline. Once done with the editing, I added the second clip. In this clip, I was busy doing the motions for crushing the actual can. The next thing I did was to put a marker on the table, while well, there was a marker, and I put the can down. Now, I have to crush the can and then let it stand for a few seconds. And the second or the next place where I messed up was when I did the last crushing, the marker moved. And the marker is not supposed to move at all. And also your camera should never ever move also. The next step was now to make this uh, masking effect work. So you put the one video clip where you crush the can on top of the other one where you pretend to crush the can. Then you go into your settings, into your elements, into your effects, you get a masking effect and you put it on top. And then you have to hide everything on the left hand side so it overlaps and hides the image. And then when you play it back, it'll, you will have two separate videos running at the same time. The problem with that was that you could clearly see the difference between the sunlight because of the first shot that I took a few minutes earlier and the second shot I did a bit later and that's the other place where I kind of messed up. The next challenge I had once you get this effect right 
is now to synchronize your hand motions with the crushing of the can. So you have to adjust your timelines accordingly. And then lastly, it's basically adding the sound effects and adding the portal effect. And that is how it was done. Another adjustment that I had to make was to make the clip where I do the effects slower. It was actually too fast in a row, so I had to slow down the effect to make it last a bit longer. Next was looking for some kind of effect that's going to be looking cool as a teleportation effect. After the effect was done and all the sound effects was done, I put in the last scene and that was the end of the video. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where i do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers